absolutely, yeah. It's, I think it's the nature of fans. If if your team isn't playing well, you maybe accentuate it a little bit more. But I expect an excellent open attacking game this afternoon. Two, two teams that play good football, that play on the front foot. South, um, South End. Solihull, an excellent away record. Scored in 19 of their last 20 away games, but also failed to keep a clean sheet in their last 14 away matches. Anyone who's seen Aldershot Town this season know that goals are virtually a given. Lump on a nil-nil maybe, after having said that, but everything points towards an open attacking goal-laden game. Thank you very much, Steve Gibbs. The teams are out, the shots in their home kit of red and blue striped shirts, red shorts and red socks. And Solihull Moors are in a, a mix of blue on their shirt, navy blue shorts, navy blue socks. And the shots line up as follows. Jordi van Stappenschuf in goal, Harfield, Harris and Kaji, the back three to be confirmed. Ollie Scott, Theo Widrington, Tyler Frost and Ryan Glover, the midfield four positions to be confirmed. Stokes playing behind Tolage and Hadi Gandor. Fans that this club can, not, not just can be, but rightly is very proud of. All right, we're underway here at the EBB Stadium and uh, Aldershot kicking towards the high street end in the first half. Ten minutes gone here, nil-nil. Harfield into Gandor, holds it up and goes back to Harry's. Harry's always looks for that defence split in one pass and then settles to pass it short. Oh, Tolad just got the ball, tries a shot from distance and it's only just wide and that's his first sight to Steve in the 11th minute. Breaking quickly from the edge of the area, Moore's players in tow, shot low across the keeper's left and uh, a couple of yards wide. Yeah, I think the goalkeeper would have had it covered. I think Hayes could see that it was always rolling just wide of, the, of that far post, but really excellent pass from Ollie Harfield, who was impressive for England seeing uh, uh, in South Wales in the week. And excellent pass, <laughs> allowed Tolash to turn in an instant and get his early shot away, not allow the goalkeeper to set himself too much. And just playing it calmly. Even Tavern will back well inside his own half here. Halffield's bursted through a little bit of a gap in the middle. And then plays it inside to Widrington. Is he going to shoot from distance? He is. It's a good effort. And it's parried around the corner. And Theo Widrington, Steve, has had two of Aldershot's first three efforts this afternoon. Corner to shot. Yeah, he's starting in a real attacking impetus and getting closer. His first one wasn't too far away. That one was skidding dangerously for Hazy, tip the ball around the post and but yeah he is one of the best central midfielders in the National League and Solihull can scant afford to lose him. So Moore's coming down the right hand side now with Maycock he plays it back down the line cross is going to come in from the right side one in the air by Kaji comes out half cleared spill shot comes in that's cleared wide another shot comes in that's cleared away and all the shot literally Aldershot with three, four half chances. Solihull Moors have just created their first and they probably came closest to scoring. Steve Gibbs. Yeah, I think... Counter-attack uh, now, though. Let's pick it up with Ollie Scott. Sorry, Steve. Right, this is on. the kind of game we want. Scott to Harford on the left side. Tries the cross. It's quite deep. Tolaj is fairly well positioned. He heads it, but he can only head it backwards and it will trickle and bobble and dribble uh, behind the goal away to our right for a Solihull Moors goal kick. Solihull Moors uh, goal kick. And now, Steve, you can give your thoughts on that. Single, double or triple chance, whatever it was well, for Sully on Yeah, I think in the end it was about a triple chance. And in the end it seemed like the, the follow-up as the ball squirmed free from Van Stappenschuf's grasp as he made a save. The ball flew, possibly took a deflection through a number of bodies. Geordie did really well to get something on it, block it on the line. And then it seemed certain that somebody, and I think possibly it was Tyree Shade, would follow up and put the ball in the net. But somehow in the end... The shots defence, the collective defence, Van Staffershoff, um, Kaji and then Theo Widrington were able to scramble it clear. But now line up for, for Solihull, depending on where the ball is, who's, who's got the possession, but they are looking dangerous. In comes the long throw from Solihull Moors, it's missed and it disappears and drifts just past Van Staffershoff's far post. And a heart in mouth moment there for the shots and one that probably will look a lot clearer when we see it back on the TV pictures from the other side of the ground, Steve. Absolutely, yeah. I think that was inches away from drifting in at the far post. Um, here's Glover battling away. Turns it inside to Theo Widrington, who uh, 
just strokes it to Kaji. Kaji tries a long diag out to the left, looking for Oli Scott. Can he take it under control? Yes, he can. Can he get it into the box? Yes, he can. Can he get the header on target? No. It's a header away from target. He was unmarked. Yes, he had to twist his body to direct the ball on target, but you'd think a quality striker, even one making their first start at this level, should be able to get that on target. It bounces, well, they've got it, Maycock on the left-hand side, just inside the penalty area, now he runs out of it, turns the ball round the corner, Osborne's got it, shot is blocked, comes back to Maycock, Maycock squares it to Zavara, trying to make room for a shot, it's quickly cleared. 58 and a half minutes gone here at the EBB and it's still nil-nil, but both of these sides asking questions, here's Solihull Moors, and I'm not quite sure whether it was Glover or Van Stappershoff who got a touch on that, but it deflected off them onto the outside of the upright and behind for another corner to Solihull Moors. He's just dispossessed. Widrington plays it up to Gandur. Gandor ends up in the floor on a heap. Aldershot keep possession. Tolladge has got it. He's got Ollie Scott on the outside of him. He's going to thread the pass out there to him now. Scott's got Harfield on the overlap. Harfield sends it in. And it's cut out well by Solihull Moors. Great defending there. I think it might be Labbard, he can't quite see, but he's holding it up now and he looks to clear it forward. And uh, it's only cleared as far as Glover. Glover to Stokes. Stokes inside the edge of the area, shoots and shoots wide. Snatched at his shot, to be fair. But this game is so intriguing and all three results still abundantly possible. Steve Gibbs, 61 minutes gone. Yeah, yeah. I think... Solihull did well to close Josh Stokes down on the edge of the penalty area and Stokes you, you thought was going to go for the curler to the far post but tried to pull it to the near post a bit of disguise but and it's picked up now by James Clark Scott battling hard to win it back he's got Tavon Campbell inside Campbell just steps off of his man Dylan Kadji sends the ball over to the left to Shade Shade with a shot and it hits the upright and goes right across the faith of goal and behind for a goal kick, and Solihull Moors, Steve, in the last ten minutes, have hit the woodwork twice. Yeah, Tyree Shade has hit the woodwork twice, and that one definitely, definitely beat Van Stappershoff. Ghosted in on that left-hand side, nobody near him. All it took was Campbell to know that he had his teammate bursting up on the left-hand side, played him in, <coughs> as he did last time. Shade opened his body, but went for the near post. This, somebody time, this time, rather yeah. than it crashing off the outside of the post and behind, it hit the inside of the post. Fortunately for Aldershot, it didn't cross the line and raced over to this near side. Sabara breaks for the short corner, but Stokes tracks the run. In it comes. It's almost cleared away, and it's towed over the line by Tavern Campbell, who scores his fifth goal in five games to pierce the Aldershot Town defence. A momentary wonder if he was offside or not, but Solihull Moors have taken the lead here with just 19 minutes to go, and it's the former shots lonely that's done it. All the shot town nil, Solihull Moors won. I think he came from came from within a crowd of players. The ball was possibly already going to sneak in anyway. It was heading towards that far post. It was just Campbell making sure. Uh, here they come, over halfway with Ollie Scott. They've uh, Played it down the left to Daly. Can he square it? He can. It's half cleared only as far as Scott. Shoots in off the post. Scott hit it. I think it came back off the post. Tolladge followed up and skied it into the East Bank. Here's Aldershot sending the ball out to the left side to Ollie Scott. Um, he's going right to the byline now. Can he square it in? Yes, he can. Barrett's miss hit it, it's come back out again and cleared incredibly off the line and then again by a header and then dropped by the keeper. No foul given, Solly Holmore's clear away to the right. Steve Gibbs make head or tail of that one. Well, I'm not quite sure what happened, but it seems certain that something must go in. The old shot town were just through sheer weight of numbers, sheer weight of pressure, that the ball must go in, but then it didn't. Ollie Scott did really well, though, to get to the byline, pull the ball back. And well, thereafter, you have to say credit to Solihull Moors for standing strong for the goalkeeper, for committing himself to making that ball his. But yeah, Ultra Town need to continue pressure. The game needs to be played in front of the East Bank for the remaining 13 minutes. Benton wins it in the air, Sabara helps it on. 
header inside from Tav Campbell, but Kaji sees it, reads it, and goes back to Van Stappershoof. As it stands, well, here's Tolad into the area. And if he's pulled down, is it a penalty? Yes! It's a penalty to Aldershot now. Who is going to take it? Tolad's delighted, but I think it's Red Kean Harry's well. time. Six penalties from six attempts. They've got themselves a penalty here. Tolad, it was, breaking through into the penalty area, and he was pulled down about eight yards out just as he was about to make the final touch to finish for the shots. We enter the 89th minute. Referee James Durkin backs away, checks everything, blows his whistle, and Kean Harris steps up and sends Hayes the wrong way, just to the left of the middle. Harris brings Aldershot town level, and we've got one minute plus added time left to see if either of these teams can wrestle all three points, but the shots are level. Aldershot Town won, Solihull Moors won. They're level and they have a man advantage. Stearman has been sent off for that foul. And Kean Harris, no surprise. Bedlam as the penalty was awarded, but Harris was the calmest man in the stadium. He just strode quietly, calmly forward and said, it's all right, lads, leave it to me, I've got this. And he just sent Hayes the wrong way sent the East Bank wild. Decimated side one, decimated side one. Nothing between these sides. Here's Dylan Kaji, feeds it to Stokes. The cross has got to come in, surely. He feeds it across to Harry's. Harry's back to Stokes. Stokes now clipping the ball in. Daly's there and he heads it wide. It's a good chance, it's a big chance. And it's gone wide from James Daly. And then the end, that probably was only a half chance for James Daly. He was backtracking, he was off balance. Whereas if he'd been able to set himself, get a good, strong, punching header on goal, it could have been a winner. There and is. that was the final action. Yeah, there is the final winner. And uh, a couple of the Moors players sink to their feet because they sensed it would have been a fantastic victory at Shots this afternoon. But the Shots have got themselves back in it. And I think deservedly so. There's very, very little to split between those, these two teams. So the side in fifth place shots have drawn one all with the side in fourth.